Welcome back. The news in details. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Monday held a meeting to follow up the latest developments in implementing national projects in agriculture and irrigation sectors nationwide. The meeting was attended by Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and Minister of Agriculture Said al Qasir, as well as Minister of Irrigation and Water Resources Heni Swelem. Presidential spokesman Ahmed Fahmi said that the meeting reviewed programs of upgrading the agricultural sector in Egypt. Foreign Minister Samah Shukri on Monday said that some key powers unfortunately provided a coverage for the current Israeli occupation aggression. The minister made these remarks in a meeting with his Chinese counterpart Wang Yi, hoping that China, being amongst the world's largest powers, plays a greater role for halting continued assaults on Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. Shukri pointed out to the announced policy of the Palestinian forced displacement from Gaza, reiterating the Egyptian and Arab strong rejection of such a policy being a red line and a direct threat to the region's security and stability as well as the whole world. The top diplomat added that, sorrowfully, the Israeli occupation grave breaches and war crimes are not branded by their true names, clarifying that the United Security Council should bear its responsibility for preserving the international legitimacy. The minister reasserted that Egypt spares no effort for accessing aid into Gaza via the Rafah border crossing, but the Israeli occupation's hindering of the aid entry is a systematic policy aiming to push Palestinians to leave the Strip escaping bombardment and siege. Separately, Foreign Minister Semeh Shukri stressed that the Israeli occupation's policy of disrupting the entry of aid is a systematized process that targets pushing Palestinians to leave the Gaza Strip, escaping the bombardment and siege. The minister's remarks came as he met counterparts from Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Palestine, Indonesia, and the General Secretary of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation in the Chinese capital, Beijing. The attendance of China's Vice President Han Zheng and China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi. Shukri went to China as part of an Arab and Muslim delegation in Beijing at the start of a tour aimed at drumming up support for an immediate ceasefire in the ongoing Israeli occupation aggression against Palestinians in Gaza. The delegation called for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and allowing entry of humanitarian aid into the destroyed strip. Upon the directives of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, Egypt received on Monday 28 premature babies who were evacuated from al Shifa Hospital in Gaza Strip through Rafah land border crossing to be transferred to Egyptian hospitals to receive needed treatment. Health sources said the babies have arrived at the Larish Hospital and that there are 150 ambulances that are allocated to transfer the Palestinian injuries. The bloodiest ever Gaza war has seen Israeli troops raid, occupy and evacuate the Shifa Hospital. Meanwhile, humanitarian aid continue entering through the Egyptian Rafah border crossing, heading to Gaza Strip with scores of trucks carrying food, water and medications that are prepared to enter in addition to preparations around the clock to receive injuries and dual nationality holders. Welcome back. Egypt's stock market indices collectively slid at the end of the trading session on Monday after being affected by high rates of profit-making operations. The benchmark EGX 30 index slid by 0.56%. The EGX 70 index for small and medium businesses also shared by 1.07%. And the broader EGX 100 index also slid by 1.11%. The market capital of listed companies lost £13 billion to close at £1 trillion and £666 billion, and with transactions and deals of about £33.9 billion.